Hi Year 12, welcome to your CAT help session video for this week. You have two six mark questions on your Physical Geography CAT. Um, both of these six mark questions are analyse questions, so they are testing your skills in making sense of some of the data that you can see, um, in this case in the two graphs that you've got. If we have a look at the first question, um, quite a long intro to this one, it says figure one um, shows a climatic water balance. So it's important that we're considering what we mean by the water balance. Remember that balance between inputs of precipitation and outputs of evapotranspiration and runoff. Um, we can see that this data has been gathered at a meteorological station or a weather station um, in the city of Potsdam, Germany. That's not really um, too relevant. Um, and we've got data for three years, 2003, 2007 and 2008. And we can see those three years um, as three separate lines on our graph. So they're presented along with the 1961 to 1990 average. So we can also see that on the graph as the dotted line um, showing the average, the long term average from 1961 to 1990. It says here the data plotted um, shows the difference between the daily accumulated precipitation and the daily potential evapotranspiration for each period. So again, this is the difference between our inputs of precipitation and our outputs um, for evapotranspiration. So the question says to analyse the water balance data for the city of Potsdam. Now, one thing we want to make sure we are doing in these sorts of six mark questions is remembering our little acronym T. OK, so T stands for the trends um, or patterns that we can see. So we want to see what we notice about that. E stands for evidence. So we want to be using some numbers and in particular, we want to be manipulating the data to working out some differences. And the A stands for anomalies. We want to think about anything that doesn't fit the pattern or trends that we mentioned a moment ago. So those are the three things we want to be doing. In relation to this graph then, we can see that we've got zero here. Okay, so zero on the water balance is sort of the cutoff point, isn't it? Between anything positive would be where we have um, potentially a surplus of water. And anything negative is where we might have um, a deficit um, of water or possibly um, just a utilisation um, of water. We might also have um, recharge going on here at certain points of the year. But zero is the kind of cutoff between those two things, isn't it? So what you might want to do is think about firstly um, what the average shows. You might take this line to start with and think about what you notice about the pattern. It's positive for part of the year, it's negative for part of the year. Maybe quote some data um, to show some, some trends and, and variations in that over time. What I would then do is take each of these lines one at a time and consider how do they compare to the average. So how does um, the line for 2003, for example, how does it compare to the average um, when we maybe are in, let's say, March or April? Um, versus maybe October, might think about how that varies. We might think about then also how some of these lines relate to each other. So what um, are the, the similarities or differences maybe between 2003 um, and 2008 and how is that different to what happens in 2007? So taking each of these lines one at a time and using the key to help us provide some evidence and we want to be manipulating that evidence. So telling me how much higher or lower something is um, in one month than another or in one year than another. Um, make sure when you're quoting that data as well, you use the correct units. So in this case, any numbers we quote will be given in millimeters. So that is your first question. And your second question actually is a very, very similar one in terms of the skills that you need to be um, applying in this case. So again, this is an analyze question. We've just got to focus on the data um, that is shown here. 
If we have a look at the question, it says study figure two, a graph showing the abstraction of groundwater reserves in Europe. So this is water that's being pumped out of the groundwater. Um, it says data is given for the early 1990s and for the period of 1998 to 2007. We can also see that each of the four colours on the graph represents a different reason why that water might be extracted. So we have um, the dark bluey green colour for energy, the light green colour for industry, that would be things like factories, um, irrigation is anything for agriculture, and public water supply um, would be to people's homes or um, things like that. Again, we want to think about our little acronym. I'm not going to write um, the full um, words down, but again, we want to be thinking about the trends, the evidence and the anomalies. So we might look to see what we notice um, happens as we go from the early 1990s into that period of 1998 to 2007. What do we notice is happening um, in each of those three regions, the east, the west and the southern parts of Europe? We might use some evidence and again we want to be making sure that we are quoting that evidence using the right units of measurement and what we want to also be doing is thinking about um, probably in this case some of the changes and some of the patterns so we want to be thinking about differences between these time periods so between the early 1990s and 1998-2007, what's changed. We want to maybe be thinking about differences between the regions. What do we notice if we compare the eastern and the western region or the western and the southern region? Are there any um, differences in terms of how they've changed? And we also want to maybe consider um, these different proportions of these reasons for water abstraction. So for example, we can see that in the southern region, much, much more water is used for irrigation than it is in the eastern region. So for example, we might be able to use some data to help us show how much more water is used um, for one purpose or another. So that's really where this evidence and this manipulation comes in. We want to be working out differences um, how many times bigger is something, how many percent bigger is it, um, or smaller between either the years or the regions um, of Europe.